Are you using isopropyl alcohol? Knock it off. Guys, we've already done a video about hydrogen peroxide. This is another one that we see all the time. People are pouring rubbing alcohol all over a giant bleeding wound. Unless you're in like an old John Wayne movie and you got a gunshot wound and you need to pour some tequila on it, you have no business putting isopropyl alcohol on stuff. Where do we use it in medicine? Well, we use it all the time in medicine, but we use it topically on the skin that, with no rash or no, no wounds. So let's say here's your skin and I wanna do an injection, right? So I'll put some alcohol on that to clean off the skin and, and we'll do an injection. We also use it in preparation for skin tag removals or procedures that we're gonna do, any skin procedures we'll do, um, but we don't use it after removing this skin cancer to clean the wound afterwards and close it. The reason why we don't use it in that way is because, again, isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol, much like hydrogen peroxide, causes cellular damage. And so we have all this nice tissue and now we're just killing the basic, the front layer of that tissue and asking it to close nicely. And it won't do that very well if we dump a bunch of alcohol on it. What do I use in my clinic for wound care? If I have a dirty wound, I just had a gal just this last week, she's, she's cut her leg really bad on like a edge of a, of a, of a cabinet. Um, it was dirty, we had to clean it out. So we washed it out with water and then I actually numbed it first <laughs> because I have the luxury of doing that. And then I scrubbed it out with some betadine. So she had some dirt and some other things in there. Scrubbed it out with betadine and then I washed it out again with normal saline. Betadine is very commonly used with, with in doctor's offices to clean wounds and things like that. It's, it tends to be a little bit less toxic on the tissue and your body does really well with that. Guys, what about like acne or like little folliculitis or skin blemishes or like a little zit or something on my back or my leg? Is that okay to, to treat with alcohol? Uh, the answer is probably not. So it's okay to use topically and it'll kill some of the, some of the flora and the staph and strep that's on our skin. Um, but usually uh, there are better solutions to those kinds of things if you think you're getting like a follicle that's starting to get infected. Um, whether it's acne or something else, there's tons of really great topical creams and gels that do really well on that. Alcohol and peroxide used topically are that in the form of just the stuff you buy over the counter. There's benzoyl peroxide as well, which is more for the topical use. But these two used topically can often dry out our skin. Things that dry out our skin too much, they cause an upregulation of oil secretion in our, in our skin and can cause worse acne, worse blackheads, worse of all those things. So I always tell people to clean, dry, moisturize, avoid those really noxious agents on your skin. Isopropyl alcohol is formulated for topical use, but sometimes that even dries your skin out too much. And so we just wanna keep a really good, nice, happy skin situation for acne and things like that. If you have like a follicle that's getting red and fussy, maybe it's a hair follicle and it's kind of red and fussy, I, alcohol is probably not awesome for that. Even better for that would be, again, the topical bacitracin, over the counter, sold for two bucks, super cheap, not being paid by pharmacy companies. <laughs> um, so, so those are some options for you. I know guys, a lot of people are gonna swear by isopropyl alcohol, pouring it all over wounds and stuff. A, it causes a whole lot of pain. If you've ever poured alcohol on an open wound, which I've had before as a kid, it hurts like crazy. Instead, wash it out with soap and water. It's super easy and it does hurt, yes, but not as bad as alcohol. <laughs> hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channels. I uh, hope this was very helpful information for you about isopropyl alcohol and uh, really enjoy talking to you. Don't forget to check out our website, voyagedpc.com. We have an awesome family medicine subscription service that we offer locally here in Utah.